Hello friends, welcome to another video on UAE VAT. Today we are going to talk about zero rating, when will it be applied for international transport and when it will not be. So let's see uh, which are the reference points which we are looking at. And before we start, thank you very much for liking the previous videos and, and giving your thumbs up also. Uh, if you like, do, uh, do give a thumbs up and, and do subscribe also. So any new video which comes into, you will get a trigger for. Starting to, uh, I, what, I did, what I have done is I picked up Article 33 from Executive Regulation, and this very clearly says which are the services which where uh, the transport of passenger and goods will be applied as zero rated. Now let's look at a first point. So first point we're talking about uh, transporting passenger or goods from a place in the state to the place outside the state. Simple, a flight from Dubai to India, that means inside the state means UA, state is referred as a UA. To outside the state means anywhere outside UA. It is considered as zero rated because it's part of the international transportation of goods or services. I'm using a denotion of a flight, but it can be a, a, a ship also. It can be a road transport also, which can fly or move from uh, UAE to, let's say, uh, any of the Middle East country. So that's also part of the international transport. Second section says, transporting passenger or goods from a place outside the state to the place inside the state. So again, we are, we are referring to the reverse side of the flight. That means you have a return ticket also. You're coming from India back to Dubai. That's also international transport. So whenever you take an international transport or book an international transport for goods or services, this is classified under the zero rated. Third thing, transporting passengers from a place in the state to place in the state by sea, air, land, or part of the supply of international transport of those passengers, if either or both the first place of departure or the final place of destination is outside the state. So here we are talking about passenger, only passenger we are talking about here. In this case, if you see what I have denoted, if your flight is, let's say, from Dubai, which is within the state, to Abu Dhabi, which is also within state, that means both are in UAE, is what we know. And from here, the flight is going to India. This is complete transaction is still classified as zero rated. I'm not going to break Dubai to Abu Dhabi as part of a single trans uh, transportation, say this is a domestic. Subject two, you are not allowed to come out of the flight or you're not passing on the passport uh, uh, borders or passport control area. Hence, the whole transaction or the whole flight is considered as an international transport. Now, reverse is also there. What we talked about in the previous example from, stay, from a UAE to outside, in this case, I'm taking example from outside to UAE. From India, flight comes to Abu Dhabi and it departs further to Dubai still the whole leg of the transportation is considered as international transport. Uh, let's say example, if you're coming to the flight, you are not going to break and say that, tell me the cost of Dubai to Abu Dhabi because I should charge 5% VAT on that. It should not be because these are only halting flights or, or these are only hop-up flights. Now let's look at what is the second section talk. Now this is a goods. So this is where some kind of a, a things or discussions which are there and, and which is which we're going to open up for further explanation. Now, transporting goods from a place in the state to another place in the state, if the services are supplied as part of. Now, what we are talking about, the same scenario which we discussed for passenger, but now it's for the goods. Or for the purpose, the supply of service of transporting goods either from a place in state to the place outside the state, or for a place outside the state to the place inside the state. So, a quite confusing statement, but let's look at what it talks. It says, from example, if you see, let's, let's, uh, translate and see how the trans how the example can work if let's say i've taken a, a goods movement which is happening from a uk and the goods landed in dubai airport and from dubai airport i need to transport these goods to warehouse in Sharjah. now this is a single leg of transaction or multiple leg of transaction we don't know so this is what we're going to unwrap and see how the domestic part so when i'm talking about domestic part i'll pick up a dubai airport to warehouse in Sharjah. how should we treat it so if you see this can be a 5% transaction. That means I can qualify it to be a domestic transport or can be international transport that is part of the zero rated. When and how this is going to change, let's understand with some of the example which I'm going to pick it up. But before we go, let's wrap up. International transport, we're talking pure 0%. Domestic transport, we're talking 5%. Again, a recap, the flight is not the only means of international transport, a ship, and even the road transport can also be international transport. This is just 
uh, used as as a as a quick reference point for uh, for the example which i'm picking up now what i'm doing here is i'm i'm i've taken a same scenario which we just talked about i brought up uh, as a, as a as a full example let's say i have transported or i have got a shipment as a courier from uk and i confirm them to deliver or dispatch this courier to my sharja warehouse i am not bothered how you are going to bring it from dubai airport or a sharja airport or which airport i am not concerned so my contract says from a uk airport to warehouse in sharja that means i have entered a single contract with a customer so if it's a single contract with a customer the whole leg of the transaction i am going to charge a zero rated i'm going to qualify it as a part of international transport wait for a minute there are some other points which are there this coin has two sides and both sides can have a different meaning so let's understand before we conclude on this part so you have seen the leg i have talked about a single leg transaction and it is a zero percent now let's look at i have booked a transaction in two leg that means i had done a two contracts one contract is with the aircraft or airlines where i said pick up the goods from uk and deliver it in dubai airport and i had done a second contract which says that okay guys i don't know how the uh, aircraft how the airlines are going to deliver to my my warehouse i know a local transport guy or a domestic transport guy and told them pick up the goods from dubai airport and deliver it to my sharja warehouse now these are there are two leg of transactions here this is not a single leg so remind yourself when there are two leg of transactions we need to look at each so the international transport invoice with 0% vat for uk to dubai airport and for domestic transport i am going to charge a, a 5% or a standard rated transaction from dubai airport to warehouse in sharjah now i'll give up both side of the coins now let's see what and why i said both side of the coins if you see uh, what normally happens a logistic company or a courier company picks up a single contract so the top portion or the first portion if you see this is a single contract which a logistic company has provided but that logistic company may not have all the facilities at their own end so when they don't have a facility at their own end they are going to do a subcontracting the moment subcontracting happens you come to the lower leg of the transaction that means you have to break these transactions into two portions what is the international what is domestic now there is a, there is a uh, small catch or small uh, simple thing which we talks about so if a logistic company is invoicing a client as 0% my output tax is zero however when i am going to get the, the the local transport or a domestic transport from a from a vendor he is going to charge 5% to me what should i do i can claim that as a refund definitely because i am capable or i am eligible to claim an input tax for a zero rated supplies also so that's a scenario or that's a story which we are talking about uh, when you look at looking at a contract from international transport perspective look at the how the leg of the transaction is being designed is it a single transaction or is it a multiple transaction because if it's a single transaction then definitely it's qualified for international transport but if you have a multiple transactions that means your contracts are breaking or you are giving a separate contract to your subcontractor in that case the domestic leg of the transaction should be and need to be qualified as 5% so that's a that's a important message that that's a most important thing which you are talking about hope you like the uh, the content and i'm sure i'm going to add up some value to to the point